Hey everyone and welcome back to Nazira's Lifestyle Channel. For today's recipe I'm going to show you how to make a really simple, easy and tasty mutton curry. You can also use beef instead of mutton if you like, just make sure the quantities of the ingredients are the same. This dish can be served with rice, idli, parota, roti, anything you wish. As you can see I've served mine with some rice and some mint. So without further ado, let's get into it. For the ingredients, you will first have to prepare a ginger paste. This is made up of garlic, ginger, small pieces of cardamom and cinnamon. To prepare the paste, grind the ingredients using a pestle and mortar like so. For the other ingredients for the curry, you will need one chopped tomato, some curry leaves, the ginger and garlic paste, two chopped onions, and four or three chilies depending on personal preference. And finally, your mutton or beef. For your mutton, you now want to add two teaspoons of chili powder, two tablespoons of curry powder, and then you want to add in your chopped tomatoes, chopped chilies, and salt. The result should look like this. You now want to give these ingredients a good stir into your mutton to marinate the mutton thoroughly. So the reason for not adding in the onions to this mix is because I don't want the water from the onions to soak up into the mutton. I'd rather temper the onions separately with the oil and the ginger paste. So to a pan of your choice, add a little bit of olive oil. This is my favourite pot to use and the reason being is number one, it doesn't splash and secondly, I don't enjoy using or cooking um, the mutton curry in a pressure cooker and the reason being is the mutton tends to turn out way too soft for my liking. Let the oil in this pot thoroughly warm up. Once the oil in the pot has thoroughly warmed up, you then want to add in your chopped onions, curry leaves as well as your garlic and ginger paste and give this a really thorough stir and you want to wait until the ingredients have turned a lovely golden brown before adding in your mutton. And leave these on a low heat and continue to stir them. Once golden brown, you then want to add in your chopped mutton or beef pieces and give this a really, really good stir. mutton or beef cook on a low flame and continuously give this a good stir before closing the lid and leaving this aside for approximately 10 or so minutes. After about 10 or so minutes remove the pot lid, give your mutton a quick check, add in water if necessary, then give this a really good stir before closing the lid and setting this aside once again on a low heat. Let this mixture stay on a low heat for approximately half an hour. After about half an hour or so has passed, remove the lid and give the mutton or beef a good stir. Check that the mutton or beef has cooked thoroughly. Let this mixture now sit on a low flame until all of the water in the curry has evaporated. Ensure that the meat is being cooked with the oil and after a while the end result should look like this. Finally, to eat alongside the mutton or beef curry, I prepared some boiled rice and garnished this with mint leaves, as you can see here. And this is the final result everyone, a really simple, tasty, authentic style mutton curry. If you like this video, please subscribe for similar content. Give this video a thumbs up and leave us your comments and suggestions in the comments bar below. Till next time, see you then.